not here. My son Shahar Dabu. And uh, this is the only picture I have for you to show. And uh, uh, the one uh, in the third row, the last one, is me and my mother. And the third row, second picture, is myself as a kid. Uh, you have seen the movie Slumdog Millionaire, yes. but I could uh, probably say that I'm a real life Slumdog Millionaire. Mm -hmm. I was born and brought up in a slum in Chennai with my mother just starting her life with one rupee as a day in the middle east scheme program, the Tamil Nadu government, with five kids, single women, one rupee. Since that income was not enough, she started a small idli shop and I used to pick up those idlis, go on the slum and sell those idlis, then come back. As you all know, each and every mom wants the kid to be, you know, like uh, 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 something good in their life and you know, something grown in their life. So my mom also, just like any other mom, wants me to speak in English. So she put me in an English medium school. She just had to say, but no money. I was one among 40 in my class, where everybody else come from a different background. I used to just sit in a class and always think that I am different from others. I'm just, you know, really coming from a very poor background. Not much facilities. You know, it was really low. Nobody looks at me. Nobody looks at my dress. Nobody looks at my, you know, feature or anything. But when I was in my first standard, I got first mark in one of the subjects. And that was the first time I realized everybody pointed their fingers and said, Sharat is the first uh, mark in this particular subject. And that gave a big sense of pride, big sense of attention from others, which made me so happy, which I picked up as, as a lesson and scored first mark in almost all the subjects. And that I kept on doing it throughout my school days. As I said, I used to sell it please on the street, then come back to the school. My mom would not be in a position to pay the fees. As a regular procedure, 10th of every month, the default was as a stand outside. And I asked just one question. I need to have the recognition. Is it necessary to sit inside the class to get that? The answer came no. If I am inside the class and get the recognition as a first rank holder, it's good. If I stand outside and score the first rank, it's great. I said to myself, I want to be great and this is a chance to make yourself a great person. I realized certain things in my life where everybody look at me and say that he is a poor kid. I ask the question, I am a poor kid. I am a poor kid financially. But I am rich in my studies. I am rich in my habits. I am rich in my thought process. So understood, people think, see things which they could see outwardly, not inward. I developed this sense which helped me to break lots of barriers in my life. <coughs> I live in a hut and I live in a hut. I, I just told myself, except me, everybody stay in a pack of you know, house. When I stand on the street and look at the hut and look at the house, both looks different. But when I look both the things from a certain height, from the moon, both are same. So I said to myself, I will not look from the sea, but I look from the moon. So that I break that barrier. This doesn't matter to me. I kept on doing this. Then, you know, in my first standard, I used to happen my mother drink water at the end of the day. And this happened throughout. At the end of the day, we would eat, all five of us, and I would see my mother drink lots of water. Only in my seventh standard, I realized that my mother drink water just because there is no food at home. And that was an eye opener for me because there is one life on this earth which sacrifices her food 
for the well-being of the other life on this earth. And I realized the greatness of a mother. I told myself I have to study much more harder and I kept on doing it. Till my 10th, there was no electricity at my home. The one thing which I thought as a handicap for me compared to other students, other friends of my class, I just imagined that with tube light, my friends could see everything, including their book. But with just a kerosene lamp, what I could see is only my book. I realized my concentration is much better compared to others. I said to myself, I trained my mind that you could see whatever you wanted to see. Then why do you worry about things which you don't want to see? I scored good marks. I cleared my 11th. Then 12th I came. I didn't have the energy to wake up and study well. I told and trained my mind. I told my mind, how can you react to this? You are not able to wake up early in the morning. I said, I'm going to save my energy by not talking more than 10 words a day. Also, I said to myself, I'm going to sleep on the plane floor because when I sleep on the plane floor by night, 12 o'clock, because of the chillness, I would wake up. I told myself, when my mother could sacrifice her food for my well-being, I could sacrifice my sleep for her well-being. I got really good marks, then got a seat in bills, then, uh, you know, in my final year, I thought I should go to one of the IIMs to really, you know, earn lots of money. As you all know, when you go to IIM, right, you get a huge pay package. A guy from slum with a dream to go into IIM, everybody said you get more than a crore. I just calculated. If it is more than a crore per month, 8 lakh 40,000, how would I spend this? My mom is earning 600 rupees. If I just give it, she will faint. So if I don't spend it the first month, next month, again, I'll have 8 lakh 30,000 in my account. So heavy. So I thought, okay, first month, let me get one car. So a hut in a slum, a first new car in the first month. Second month, get one more car. So there are seven days, get seven cars. So outside the hut, there are seven cars lined up. And we said we could take a vacation in Miami Beach, not in Goa. And it would be like all the time flying. And I was just wondering, I just said, this. And you know, after I am, I would be always flying. So that life seems to be really good for me. And then, you know, I just imagine that I'm just coming out of my heart with a blazer. And uh, somebody's opening and saying that, um, hello sir, good morning. I say good morning. Then I give my back. Then again, I cross my gate and go near my car. I'm just opening a car. And another person, of, I mean, another, my driver just stops me in, in white and white. So don't get it. I just ask him, what man, what happened? He says, sir, today is Tuesday. You're getting to Wednesday car. I know. <laughs> that, I, I didn't even sit back for my cat. I didn't even, you know, um, I, I, I didn't even do anything. He didn't even took my preparation material. So I went to Bihar in my final year, uh, currently Jharkhand in Dunbar, where I happened to see, uh, you know, lots of poor people. And that, you know, connected well with my life, my family. And also I came across a paper report saying that 30 million population is below God's life. That's the time, you know, uh, the question came to my mind, if your education is going to only help you or your death, then came the answer that I should start a company. You know, just like my mother supported five of us, I thought I should start a company and give, a, give jobs to a lot of people. So that I could support five lakh people and also I thought, we need to find one guy out of a crow in our country. So we could find 100 guys who have the capacity to give a lot of jobs. And that was the idea which I had. Came back to the campus, I got the job in Bitskalani. I worked for a couple of years, repaid all the debt. Simultaneously, I was preparing for this entrance exam for IIM. And I could not clear three times. The third time I went, I went with viral fever. I wrote and I said, uh, nobody died because of viral fever. Chill down, you will also not die. So I said to myself, and uh, you know, if I train, the other people should take care. 
You take care of the exam. I wrote the exam. I got clear in all six IMs. Again, I got called for, you know, uh, group discussion and interview. Again, I was down with viral fever. I said, uh, you know, I just told myself, my mind, man, viral fever is quite lucky for you. Uh, you are having, uh, you know, Calcutta and uh, uh, and about the interview in this particular week. So definitely you are clearing both of them. <laughs> you know, if you clear both of them, then why do you worry about others, right? So because Ahmedabad and Kutta was like, uh, was in the top two. So I cleared all six times, then went to Am Ahmedabad. At the end of two years, even though job offers were there, I told my mother that I'm not going to, you know, take up this offer. And I, uh, you know, started my company with 2,000 rupees. Uh, even though the attractions were so much, but I said, I will start my life as small as possible, but I will reach my goal of employing a lack of people. So that's how I started Food King. And at the end of six months, I didn't have even 200 rupees. I to sleep on the Bombay platform. But still, I said, it's not only you, you are sleeping on the platform. There are so many people. Let them all sleep in their home, then worry about yourself. That could be going. I came back, did some changes to my business. Then, you know, business picked up and I really did well. Then, uh, my dream is to see a hunger free India in my lifetime. So, I started a foundation called Hunger Free India Foundation. And the beautiful thing about this foundation is, I declared one day as Hunger Free Day, which is October 10th. 10 10. Everybody asked, Is it your birthday? I said, No. 10 10 is easy to market. I don't have budget to market it. So I selected 10 10. So we uh, feed around 10,000 orphanage kids on that day and old age people on that day. Not only that, we support lots of uh, you know uh, kids for education and think, you know uh, these are the things which we do. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, it's a pleasure to come here. Thank you.